good morning welcome back to this week's weekly vlog uh, if it's your first time stopping by super quick intro my name is indeed dawn i'm originally from manchester which is the northwest of england and for over 22 years now i've been living in the netherlands uh, not far from amsterdam and i live here with my partner lawrence who's south african and uh, our sons uh, joshua and william and our furry critters jack and daxter um and if you know g welcome back guys i hope everybody's had a good week i'm just gonna ask this now i'm gonna beg ask if you haven't yet done so please hit the subscribe button that would be amazing um anyway where are we hopefully fingers crossed you've just seen some footage of lawrence um setting sail in our little boat our new baby uh, we're super thrilled with it um it's um moored it was it was delivered to where our old boat was in uh, winter storage and then i'm driving along the road that runs parallel to the canal so as i'm chatting to you uh, lawrence is on the canal and i'm on the road and i'm driving down to where we keep it moored up for the summer so it's the same road it's a very long road um and then i think the plan is it's supposed to be a nice day today it's a bit windy it's a little bit windy for sailing but um we need to put petrol in the tank so i'm going to drive in um hop on the boat we're going to sail around to the little petrol station uh fill up the tank probably leave it uh go home because we haven't finished our gardening yet we want we to finish the back garden all the pruning and all that mess is still on the floor well half of it uh, and then we might uh come back out later for a sail uh because the sun is desperately trying to shine through it's very gray it's like that white grey overcast but you can see the sun is def it's definitely poking through so i said to lawrence maybe about one ish two ish it should be actually really nice so i think that's what the plan is um groceries came yesterday so we've we've literally got the whole day to ourselves so i think let's do gardening come on the boat for the afternoon have a little I said to Lawrence let's we'll go out for a poo talk he said what does that mean I've been with Lawrence over 22 years and he doesn't know what poodle or pootling means does anybody else not know what it means I can explain basically it means let's just go for a little a little wander a little mooch around a little poodle so I don't even know where that word comes from no doubt somebody can enlighten enlighten all of us um this morning I was up fairly early ish Lawrence was up early. I made um, a poached egg and avocados on toast for breakfast. It was delicious. Oh, here's the mooring already. Uh, so we've had a hearty breakfast just in case, you know, we decided to stay out, but uh, we're not gonna do that. I've not driven here since last year. Um, so we're hoping, Lawrence hasn't told the owner that we've changed our boat. And we're hoping it just fits in the spot um, that we've had for many, many years. I think I mentioned it. Oh, oh gosh, that dog nearly came out in front of my car. Oh, God, good fright. Um, we've, this is our third boat, our third motorboat. So we've been here many, many years. Actually, I'm just thinking, I don't need to. I can go and park up on the little parking space. I was going to come round to where we moor. I'm just looking at it. I think we're fine. I think we're okay. I think we're okay. Uh, the one thing we did notice is the engine of this, because it's not just the boat, it's also the engine, is a lot quieter than the old one. The old one was a better um, brand, but uh, obviously we've got, you know, a one year old, not even one year old motor on this new one and it's really quiet right i'm gonna i'm gonna go park up, well, park up. i'm gonna get out the car because i'm parked in a ditch i don't know i'm in some kind of weird you see i'm leaning and then um lawrence should be here in a few minutes and then um yeah hopefully we can do a bit of sailing later how exciting uh don't know if you can see i'll turn this off um i put i used that um sorry it's really bright i used that um Maybelline, the four-in-one 
foundation or whatever it is um which is it's like a bb cream put that on this morning it's not full coverage you can still see i've got this bruised bit and the, some of the veins are a bit purple from the laser treatment i had last week um but it's really nice it's a prime it's four in one it's a primer um a bb cream a highlighter and something else moisturizer i don't have no idea i can't remember now i don't normally wear a uh, you know foundation and stuff i thought oh I'll give it a go it's actually really nice uh it's got a it's got this sponge applicator so i just striped it where i wanted and then i've got like um you know one of these oh i can't remember the name of them now you know these um these uh applicator these foam balls so I, I actually dabbed it in and smushed it around with that i think putting it on with from directly from the bottle is definitely not a good idea clearly i'm not an expert right i'm going to stop off you now and um hopefully uh, next to see ya i'll be on the boat see you in a while You notice my my, co my coffee corner is um, a lot less cluttered. I threw loads of stuff away. In fact, the only thing I've got there is some um, cordial, ooh, cordial, or in the Netherlands limonada for the boys, and some recipe books, uh, tea, coffee, and sugar. And that's it. Yeah, that's it. And vitamins, 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 and spare coffee jar I don't know what I'm going to do with that cafetiere stuff that should go in a cupboard really anyway um the ants are back every year we're plagued with ants and then it becomes from spring until autumn it becomes an onward battle between me and the ants um normally I I cover the entire back wall of the house uh, on the ground where the, where the house and the um, ground meet, I cover it in ant powder. So I've got two full bottles of ant powder there. Normally it works, and then we have a downpour, and then I have to go out and do it. So it's like, as I said, it's an on, ongoing battle. I've not put any down because uh, I've only spotted one or two, so I think they're just scouting. But uh, we're expecting rain all week, so that will keep them at bay. And then when I know it's going to dry up a bit, then I'll start the whole process. But oh, uh, so far I've seen one this morning. It was on the uh, on the island, and then yesterday there was like two. So it's like just odd one or two. I've not seen them over here. They've only just been on the island so far, which is strange because normally they hang around. If you're going to find them, they're usually um, where we're meant to tea and coffee because yeah, there's sweet things there. Even though everything's covered up, 
you know, they seem to smell it a mile off. Anyway, waffle, waffle. Um, so, we're from home. Um, when did I last speak to you? I think, uh, I think I told you, um, oh yeah, so I went, um, Lawrence came uh, to our summer mooring uh, with the boat. And then we had a discussion about what we wanted to do. Because um, Saturday was supposed to be, you know, amazing weather. It was a bit, it was a bit windy and the wind was a bit cool. Um, but I really wanted to sort of get stuck into the garden looking out. So it's fairly tidy out there now and the front garden is a bit tidy. But uh, so I said, okay, what we can do, he needed to go um, sail it round to the petrol station, top it up. So he said, we'll just jump on, we'll have a little sail together, fill it up and then... Um, you know, we'll put it away, go home, do what we need to do, and then we'll come back in the afternoon. Right. So, uh, off we went. Uh, we, you know, messed around with things and tightened ropes. It was all like tweaking of stuff. And then, then the owner's wife came and she wanted to admire the boat. She was oh, it's a really nice boat. So it was really... Anyway, so we literally just pushed off. We're on the exit canal from where we moor and, uh, went dead it cut out Lawrence was like what and uh then he turned it over again and it started and then it went and it's like a couple of meters and it stopped we we're like oh my god what are we gonna do so we always have any boat we've had we always have one of these little expandable oars so Lawrence said okay let's just I'll paddle us to the side figure it out so I said the boat is no petrol and he looked he said there's a couple of liters it shouldn't just cut out like that but I said, yeah, but, you know, our old boat, we could run it almost dry. But I said, you know, you know, maybe with the pipes and everything, maybe, you know, you've always got to keep it above a certain point, uh, threshold before, you know. So I said, okay. So anyway, we pulled it to the side. Uh, he took the tank out. He said, right, I'll go to the petrol station, which is like a five-minute drive down the road. I'll fill it up and I'll come back. So I sat waiting, waiting. Next minute, the owner um the owner came on his little boat and he's like you have to move your boat there was a huge boat coming behind him and, and i was on their uh, parking spot and i said i can't go anywhere i've got no i've got no petrol and his wife came running out she said no uh, they have no petrol lawrence had seen her on the way out and told her no they have no petrol lawrence is coming back in a minute you have to put the boat somewhere else was, and it was, luckily there was space uh, in front of me so uh, I was like, oh, that wasn't awkward much, but I mean, every, everyone was fine. But I was like, oh my God, you know, there's like this fanfare and excitement of getting this new boat and now it won't, it won't go. Anyway, Lawrence came back, uh, put the petrol tank in, turned it on, straight away, came on. Um, sailed out, we were almost on the main canal, it cut out again. So Lawrence said, right, I'm going on the main canal, I'm going to rev it. So we, we put it, we were taking a risk, like, do we... Do we risk being out on the open water, the main canal, or uh, which is also a shipping canal? So, or do we, you know, stay back, you know, by our island? And so he um, said, no, let's just go for it. So we put it on full throttle. Sell to sell went like a dream. So I think it was. Um, it hasn't been sailed since last season, and the lady, uh, they just leave enough petrol in it, you know, to just get you to, you know, from A to B. But because Lawrence had already sailed it back from our, uh, the winter storage, I think if we just sailed straight to the petrol station, it, we would have been fine. Anyway, lesson learned. But, uh, I think just because it's been sat there over winter, granted indoors, but still, I think, you know, everything just, you know, it's, a, it's an engine, it's a motor, just needed the oil needed to warm up and anyway, it worked like a dream. This boat, compared to what other boat, is so stable in the water. When it was when we were sailing and these like, you know, big boats going past and then normally the wake, I would be getting thrown around to the point where I used to dread going out on the main canal on a busy day because um, my back, you know, just couldn't handle it. It'd be like being on a rickety old... Um, roller coaster you know those old wooden ones where you come off with a bad back but um I mean you hardly felt it was just like a slight sort of you know it was amazing super comfortable nice that you can get up and walk around you know you can stretch your legs you're not sort of up well our other boat once you were sat down because it was so unstable you sort of kind of stood I mean you could walk around but you didn't tend to do it and also the sides are a lot higher than our old boat so when you're sat on the side you're you've got a full backrest Whereas our old boat, you were like sat on the edge of the boat. It was, I think it was only about that high, whereas this is 
like a proper backrest. So it was really nice. Uh, as I said, it was a bit cold on the water. When it, when you sailed in one direction, it was beautiful. Uh, took my uh, cardigan off. Actually, I actually got, I don't know if you can see, got a little bit burnt. Um, but then when we were sailing uh, in the other direction, it was really chilly. Anyway, we so we we just sailed up to the uh, what they call the Molen Pool, where the old windmill is. I don't know if you would have seen some footage of that. Uh, it was just beautiful. It was quite peaceful on the water. Uh, so I don't know if you've included any of the nature noises. We'll see. I have to you know edit the footage. Um, just looking at the time. Um, and then we came back, moored up, uh, we left all the covers off because said, okay, we'll go home, spend a couple of hours at home, we'll have a bite to eat uh, and then go back. So that's exactly what we did. And uh, we went back and then that, then this time we went in the other direction. I think you would have seen we were sailing in all the little inlets, all the, all the little islands. And we wanted to test that out because we wasn't sure. Lawrence was doubting if our boat was too high to get under that really low bridge. And... Um, it's, there's plenty of clearance, it's just we haven't got much clearance with our head, so we had to just both really duck down, which is fine, and we got through. So that's nice, because that's actually, that's a really pretty way to sail, we like sailing that way. What we normally do is we sail that way, <coughs> um, go out onto the lake, and then uh, we just sail up and down the islands. Well, all that sails for mine, he said, I've never sailed here before, it's amazing. Anyway, um, so that's what we did Saturday, and then we got home. Gave his lordship uh, a trim, did his hair for him and his beard. He wants to keep his beard a bit longer. Um, and then I think about 7.30, uh, Lawrence and I headed out to our friend's um, daughter's birthday. I said we were going there and uh, it was really good fun. Um, they'd hired like um, a side room off a restaurant slash uh, cafe bar kind of thing. And... Um, it wasn't busy in the bar at all um, and you know all her friends were there so the room they hired was busy and uh, it was black and gold the theme so uh, you know they've made an effort there was one uh, young guy and he'd ha he was wearing gold clogs and you know they just really made an effort and you know we all made an effort I've ironically I haven't got a lot of gold like party wear I've got like a gala dress or a beach dress and that's it so I just wore all black um, but yeah, it was really good fun. We had a, we had such a good night, and then I think we got home from there about midnight. Um, I was tired. I was very tired. Um, yesterday, Lawrence pl played hockey midday, and um, he asked me. I think it was about one thirty two ish. I think it was, and he said, "Do you want to go on the boat?" And I looked out, and it was the sun was out, but it was windy. And I, Lawrence said, "It's a bit chilly." It was you know, it was, it was a good few degrees cool yesterday and I said you know what I'm just tired I was happily sat on the sofa crocheting and I said I'm happy just to stay home and I'm glad I did because I woke up this morning I uh, sat the whole night with the mask on I don't know if you can see the lines and um, I actually woke up before the alarm went off and I felt okay and I slept all night with the mask last night as you can hear maybe you can't <coughs> it's definitely pollen I'm having some kind of hay fever pollen allergy which is new I, don't, I never have I had hay fever as a kid and then I think by the time I was in like my mid low to mid 20s I'd kind of grown out of it thank god because when I was 12 13 14 it was horrible it was like you know everything was like dripping and itchy and so I kind of grew out of it but I don't know if it's as I'm coming out of menopause, my allergies are coming back. I don't know. I haven't got itchy eyes, nothing. And I'm not runny nose. It's just, it seems to be affecting here. I, I think, oh, that's Daxter. You can hear him. He's flecking. Um, I think, how long have we been waffling for now? 11 minutes. Um, I think it's a, it must be a certain kind of tree or tree family that's causing the issue now. Because I don't recall being like this last summer so I'm convinced it's a certain kind of treat and I think some of you also mentioned that in last week's vlog that you you either you were or had friends uh <coughs> having the same issue and then also uh talking to the girls on Saturday uh they'd also mentioned that you know they knew people who had this like itchy irritation cough kind of thing that just wouldn't go I'm convinced it's um pollen 
because of the sleeping thing, I'm not taking an allergy pill until I go to bed because I I, I I can put up with this. It just sounds a bit croaky, but I feel fine. Um, yeah, but I was tired yesterday, but I can't, I, I managed to go uh, the whole evening. Uh, normally, you know, by ten o'clock, I'd be like almost, I'd be, I'd be gone. You know, ten o'clock would be like a massive night out for me. But uh, yeah, that's so that's a good sign. Feeling very positive. Um, trying to think what I've got on this week. Oh yes, something exciting. We both completely forgot about this. Um, on Thursday, we're going into Amsterdam. We've got tickets. We bought them maybe even last year, was it? Uh, to go and see Bill Bailey. If you don't know, Bill Bailey is um, a comedian. Uh, I think he's an actor as well, but he's he does he's more famous for stand up comedy. And both Lawrence and I really like him, and he's doing a European tour at the moment. So uh, we've got tickets. We're going to Amsterdam to see Bill Bailey. Very excited about that. That's Thursday night, and um, I don't even remember what I've got on this week. I might go into the office tomorrow. I might need to actually, but we'll see. Anyway, right, the kettle's probably a bit cold now, so I'm going to just flick it on a couple of seconds, make a coffee. Uh, it's quarter to nine. I'm just going to put the news on, see what's going on in the world. Oh yeah, that's the other thing. Uh, I've bought um, a jack, this, um, it's a powder, it's a supplement that you mix with your dry food or any food and it, it's got arthritis, uh, it stinks, I don't know what's in it, but it's got, uh, it's got like glucosamine and other, you know, arthritic kind of uh, medication, suitable for dogs and um, yeah, it helps with inflammation and articulation. Lawrence, uh, is he is going to take him to the vets because um, we need advice if we want to... He has special food from the vets, which is for skin allergies uh, because he's prone... I think I've mentioned this before. He's prone to, you know, skin allergies. Our old dog was. Uh, so we need something. Um, do we change his food so it's for arthritis, older dogs, or Lawrence can take this supplement with him and when we see... But anyway, I think he'll he'll be probably in a week or two will go to the vets. He's, he's actually fine at the moment. You just see he's struggling to get on and off, on and um, off the sofa, and even he he won't attempt the the stairs now. And um, you know we go up to give him a little shower when he's a bit mucky. Um, so yeah, and then at the same time, Dax also seems to be struggling a bit. So we might have to take them both. And, uh, yeah, we might have to look. Jack Daxter is on senior food, but he doesn't take any supplements. Anyway, they're about the same age. I mean, I know cats tend to live longer than dogs, but we just noticed this this spring. They're both suff suffering as am I and as is Lawrence. Aren't we all? <laughs> We've all got creaky bones, except the boys. Right, I'm going. I'll see you in a while. Good afternoon. Hope you can hear me. The dishwasher's on. It's so noisy. Um, I'm just making a sandwich. I'm on my lunch break, so that's annoying me. Um, well, as you can see, I decided to work from home because um, last I set my alarm. I had every intention of going in. Last night I had a terrible sleep. Nothing to do with sleep apnea, or maybe it was. I don't know. Or the mask. Um, firstly. Uh, the, somehow the duvet uh, had, uh, how to explain it, the duvet had sort of shifted within the cover and I woke up freezing cold, it, I think it must have been about 2 o'clock in the morning, pitch black, freezing cold because I only had the duvet cover on me and Lawrence was all wrapped up nice and warm, I was freezing so um and sort of wrestled him and pulled it back and oh I don't even know how that happened it must have rolled up on each side anyway then um I must have drifted back off next minute I woke up still a little bit chilly and it was blowing a gale there was a right storm thunder everything going on <laughs> it sounded like it was just above the house so um that set me off and then I woke up I think it must have been about six-ish toilet. So, you know, I woke up and um, I actually, I don't feel okay, but I know by this afternoon I'm going to be exhausted. I already know it. So I thought, don't push yourself. 
uh, you know, I spoke about this earlier on, you know, don't don't sort of waste energy that you've you've sort of gathered. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna work from home. Plus, it's still really horrible weather. In fact, Lawrence has just um dropped William off at school, so he's not having to go out on the bike. Uh, Joshua's not in college this week. There's something going on with the teachers. I don't know. But um yeah, I thought, you know what? And also I've got stuff that I need to do that I need to actually concentrate on. So it's just as well I stay at home and just focus on things I need to get done. I've got some deadlines to meet anyway. But um yeah. I thought it's that's typical that. Um there was something else I was gonna to mention to you, and it's clean gone out of my head. Uh last night all we did was sit on the sofa and watch TV. And we watched Guilty Pleasure, Married at First Sight, Australia. I think it's almost coming to crunch time. It must be finishing soon. Um, who's been watching it? Last night, I, I hope it's, it won't be a spoiler, it should because I think even the repeat's gone out by now. Um, last night, uh, the I, I don't even know the, the expert's name, but the guy expert called out Tori and something. The guy she's married to. Honestly, he's like, I think he's a sociopath. <laughs> I was just saying something. He gave him a grilling on the sofa last night. So that was, I was like, yes, go on, call him out. But yeah, I said to Lawrence, this year, the, the pairing, the matching has been terrible. I mean, on, on, you know, first impression alone, you knew that, you know, they'd, they'd sort of recruited a couple of nut jobs <laughs> or narcissists. And uh, straight away, you know, I'm no expert, but even I could tell that these people ain't going to hit it off, never mind be married. Um, I think they've done a really poor job this year. Maybe maybe there's just a lack of people applying for it now, because, you know, people know the kind of flack that they're going to come under. Um, yeah, so the experts have not done well. And then I just said to Lawrence, I don't know, I'm getting a bit... It also, it's starting to feel... Maybe it's always been like this, but it's all starting to feel a bit staged at this point. You know, like reality TV, when it first, uh, when a show starts, it really seems like it's off the cuff, you know? But it's starting to all feel like a bit too, it's like coming across as being a bit um, like pre-scripted, which I don't like. Anyway, we'll see, we'll watch it. We'll carry on, we'll see the end, how it goes. I can't see any of these couples making it actually. Even the ones who on paper seems to be getting on like, you know, a house on fire. I'm like, no, nah, I'm not buying it. I'm not buying it. Every instinct in, in me is telling me it's all fake. Anyway, guilty pleasure, guilty pleasure. Right. Um, I think, oh, Lawrence has just pulled up. So I'm going to, the kettle's, no, the noisy kettle's just boiled. I'm just going to make a coffee, sit down, eat my sandwiches and just whew, relax a bit. And then uh, back upstairs to the very messy craft room to continue with my day. I've had a good day though. I've, I've had a productive morning. So that feels good. I've got a few things off my list. Right, I'll catch you in a while. Just popping to my local supermarket. I've been keeping an eye on the pollen. Uh, yesterday it was low pollen and I was fine. And today it's high pollen and I can feel it. So it's definitely um, allergy. It's got to be, it's got to be. Uh, I've not been to this, to my local supermarket for, I don't know, weeks. Must be weeks. So I'm curious what the... Uh, Albert Heim, which is the local supermarket. I'm curious what it has in. So I have a little walk around. I only need, I need washing up liquid, uh, some milk for the guys, not for me because I don't drink cow's milk. And uh, Josh asked me to get him a brownie and, sorry, I'm trying to have up for a, That'll do. Oh my gosh, I wish you could see that parking. It is <laughs> amazing. I think that's the best reverse parking I've ever done. Um sorry, I lost tr I lost track of what I was saying. Yeah, Joshua wants brownies. Uh I need dishwasher tablet, I need some milk. Um, I need to pop over to the uh, the pharmacy, get some more allergy pills. 
and I think that's it. Um, I think Lawrence is playing hockey this evening, so I think I just said to Joshua, we'll do oven pizzas. It has thrown it down all day, thundering, hailstone, like throwing it down. And literally, as I finish work to pop out, what were doing with my key? Uh, the sun came out. Okay, find my key then. Uh, an Amazon uh, park, uh, an Amazon uh, package has arrived. So I'll show you what I bought when I get home. Right, I'll see you in a while. Came back. The back door is open. If you can hear, I might have to close it if uh, the planes start going over and it's a bit loud. <laughs> it's lovely. You wouldn't think that there was a major storm outside the window. Shall I show you what I bought? And then I'll show you what I got off Amazon. So. Is it interesting? I like nosing in people's groceries, you know. Fast forward if it's not for you. Uh, so I've got some uh, whole grain, full corn, whole grain, uh, bread rolls. I mean, Lawrence, white for the balls. Balls, since I'm looking at potlu <laughs> for the boys. Joshua loves these um, noodles. So I've got in these um, super spicy ones and hot chicken flavour. He's obsessed with them at the moment. So they're always handy to have things like that in. You know, I always have eggs and noodles and stuff when they want to make a quick snack for themselves. Um, I keep forgetting to buy this in my grocery order. So I've got it now uh, and there was only one on the shelf. It's the Albert Heim own brand, uh, Thai sweet basil wok sauce. And you can see it's got three chilies and it is hot. It sounds a bit strange. I like to put it in my Indian curries because you don't taste it sweet and you don't take the bar taste the basil, but you taste the chilli. And it just gives the curry a bit of extra oomph. So, and a little goes a long way. So I've got some of that. Uh, I always have a, a little can of um, like Parmesan in a can, a container. So William told me we'd run out. These grapes are massive, seedless grapes. Shall we try one? They're washed, so I can eat them. They're huge, they're more like miniature plums. One's a bit, look at the size of that. Don't know with a, mm, mm. They're nice. They're very sweet, but they've got this really lovely crunch to them. Mm, 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 mm. They'll be gone by tomorrow. Uh, we've run out of coffee, or oh, we're not run out, we're almost out of coffee. We like Nest Cafe Gold, but they didn't have a big jar, so I've just got a little one for now just to top us up. A uh, bit lazy and a uh, grated cheese. Uh, this is like young, uh, uh, young cast, is like mild cheddar. Uh, this is what I did go out for uh, dishwasher soap liquid. Uh, a couple of milks. You don't need to see what, what do you want to see? This is what a carton of milk looks like here in the Netherlands. <laughs> is that interesting? Uh, Joshua asked for some brownies. They're a bit thin. There's three in there, anyway. And then William likes um, carrot cake. So I just got, I don't know why they come in packs of three. Most families have either two or four people in them. So three strange number okay uh and then i popped to gosh i'm running out of space now i popped in the i can say appetite i popped in the uh the drugstore the pharmacy um i'm running really low on these eye makeup uh remover pads go through them like you can't believe um uh, Keep forgetting to buy these stocked up on uh, plasters. I like the stretchy ones, you know, the fabric ones. These are like the stretchy fabric ones, but waterproof. And I always get the ones that you can cut in a strip, so you can need a huge one. And these are just um, regular size. It's got two packs of plasters. This is the um, hay fever or allergy tablets that I wanted to buy. The Ceterisine. Because the ones I'm using are very good, but I'm, um, I don't know if they're good for your stomach. So I thought, let me just go back to them. Uh, and then these, I buy a pair of these every year, and every year I lose them. But I bought another pair. Uh, 
reading glasses for when I'm on the boat. I only need 150. I don't need a strong reading glass. But um, I'm going to take my crochet and so forth with me. So I must put them somewhere safe. And then we have the... That was everything, yeah. Then we have the Amazon packet. It's a hard back. I'm not very happy about that. But we didn't have paper back. I bought the new Marion Keys book. My favourite mistakes. Who likes Marion Keys? I love Marion Keys. I've read every single one of her books. It's, I always find her books uh, easy, breezy, light reading. Uh, as you can see, print's quite big. Uh, they're a great holiday read, but I don't like taking hardbacks on holiday. I saw she was on, she was on a chat show this week in the UK promoting her new, uh, her new book. And I thought, oh, so I didn't even read what it's about. I'm trying to think, she always writes about, um, the one family, oh, what are the, the family's last name? So the last one I wrote, uh, um, I read was, um, I think it was Rachel again. So it looks like this one is about the sister in the family, so Rachel's sister, Anna, I think. She usually does. I can't think what the, um, yeah, Anna Claire looks like. Margaret, the eldest. Yeah, it's about the same family. So she usually writes a book. She's wrote, written other th other books, but she's got a whole series about the the, the mother and father and the and the uh, the daughters who are all a little bit dysfunctional. That's why they each have a book, and some of them have two books. I can't think of the name of the family. I can hear some of you screaming now at the screen. Anyway, this is going to be my um, bedtime reading book. Uh, I've not read for ages. Usually if I do read in bed at night, I read um, my Readly app. I've renewed my Readly app again. I cancelled it and I've, gone, I've opened it again. And I either flick through crafting magazines or um, home garden lifestyle books. And I don't manage. I manage a few pages and then... I'm gone, so it'll take me a while to read the book. Right, that was everything I bought. I'm going to pack all this away. I think I already said we're having oven pizza this evening. Uh, William's just told me he's working in Deaglom, which is at um, Hockey Later. So oven pizza is the best option. We can throw in what we like when we want. Um, there's something I've been after making. I was debating whether to film a podcast now. I'm home. But I'm actually, I'm feeling tired. I'm actually feeling really tired. And I'm just not in the mood. Uh, but I'm long overdue one. But I'm also in a mind to make something. So I might gather all the stuff. You'd think I'd finish all the projects I'm working on. But um, there's something that I've been meaning to make for ages. And I saw it again on my Pinterest board. And like, so I might gather my things. I think it'll be a quick make as well. Quickish, quickish. Anyway, we'll see. Right, I'm going to stop waffling. Oh, before um, oh no, it's gone. Oh yeah, here. This is what I wanted to show you. So my chin, it's a bit red still. Uh, I haven't got any makeup on it, but I can see it's like red in patches. Um, this is also what I bought from the um clinic. I meant to show you this today. La Roche Posay. Uh, it's only a small one, but it's uh, it's a 50 plus um, sun cream, but it's it's got everything in it. Uh, UVB, UVA, antioxidant. She, she said, literally, this, if you're looking for a good sun cream for your face, she said this is going to block out anything and everything. And it's the it's invisible. So I've not used it yet. I meant to put it on before we went on the boat, but uh, and it's ultra long UVA protection. So, oh, it's very watery. It's like milk. Oh, it smells a bit alcoholy though. Anyway, that's going to be great for when I go on the boat. Because I think it's about time I started upping my um, sunscreen 
regime on my face. I always went, I always wear sunscreen when I go on the boat. I didn't at the weekend because it was kind of, are we, are we on it? We come home, we went on it, I wasn't sure, but I, and I didn't expect it to be that sunny. But um, yeah, I think I might have to start wearing something a little bit higher. I like to get a bit of sun on me, but not, you know, but not too much. So yeah, I thought I'd show you that one. I thought I'd show you the other day, but I was like, what did I do with it? Right, I am going to stop waffling. Um, I'm going to put all this away and sit down. I think that's what I'm going to do. I will see you in a while. When I'm feeling down. almost afternoon I think it's almost midday I think so either good morning or good afternoon it makes no difference to you does it because you're not watching me in in my real time waffle waffle um this morning I had a very lazy morning on the sofa uh, because Lawrence and I were, we went out on a school night last night. Uh, we missed uh, maths, married at first sight. It's almost um, coming to an end. Sorry, I've got something in my eye. My hair's a bit damp because so I've just got out of the shower. Um, so, yeah, we just, I mean, he's working, so he's on and off calls and meetings, but uh, he was keeping an eye on it in the background. And, um, yes, it was very good. Um, so, last night, I don't know, I'm not, I'm sat here because I'm going to edit all the vlog and upload it. So, it's up on time for uh, Sunday morning, my time, for you guys to watch. Hopefully, people are watching. Uh, last night was fantastic. So, I work from home. Uh, I think we left ho uh, home about 5.30ish. Mm, bit of rush hour traffic, but not too bad. We were kind of going in the right direction. Um, drove up to uh, my office, left the car there. And then um, it was literally one tram um, to um, like a f five minute walk, let's say. Not even to the theatre. Um, it was the Carrefour. Carrefour, that's the supermarket. It was the Carra. Royal Car Royal Theatre Carra, is it called? I can't remember the full name of it. Anyway, it's just on the Amstel. It's beautiful theatre. I'd never been there before. But anyway, I digress. So uh, we got off the tram. The very first restaurant closest to the tram stop was rammed packed. They said you could have a table outside. I said, no, thank you, because we had we were still in good time. So we just walked in the direction of the theatre. Uh, found a really cute little bistro and the, it was it was pretty full but not full full and I uh, said have you got a table for two yes of course so we went in and I uh, just had a delicious um steak with spring vegetables and a, a portion of fries to share and um had a cheeky glass of Prosecco uh, Lawrence had a coffee and then uh by the time uh we'd finished paid the bill uh, we um, headed off to the um, theatre, which was really close. We were, it was literally like four or five doors away. And um, people were already just sort of going in, so couldn't have timed it any better. I must say, the food at the bistro was nice, not the best. The service was outstanding. All the wait staff, yeah, couldn't fault them. They were absolutely 
amazing to a T. I, mean, I, I have to say that was probably that was probably up there with service in the Netherlands for me. So um, chef's kiss for the service. Food nice, but not. Uh, we wasn't. We said it was nice, but we wasn't like wow, that was a really good meal. Anyway, so yeah, we hadn't quite planned to go out out. It was more like if we find a snack bar, we'll just grab a burger or something. So the fact that we sat down and had a nice dinner was, you know, that was um, a nice uh, unplanned uh, surprise. Anyway, so off we go. Uh, and we wasn't quite sure. We bought this last year, I think it was. So we wasn't quite sure of the um, of the seats. Hopefully you would have seen. I don't know what footage I did capture. Not much, but hopefully you would have seen that we were, uh, we, so we wasn't in the stalls, which I'm happy with because the stalls, it's all on one level. So if you've got somebody, you know, tall or with a bit of a big head in front of you, you know, yeah, you're stuck. And nine times out of ten, that always happens to me. So we were in the um, the first ring, like the ground ring around the stalls, uh, literally on an, uh, we had the aisle seats, second row in literally sat with bill bailey almost in front of us it was fantastic seats and uh, i did the customer he checked us in on facebook next <laughs> bit lawrence got a whatsapp with a photo and he, and uh, it was uh, an old colleague of his who they have you know once every few months they have like guys drinks and they all meet up and uh, he'd sent a picture of us <laughs> it's like almost opposite us looking down so we were like waving anyway during the interval lawrence um ran over and um had a quick catch up with him he was there with his son anyway bill bailey my gosh, what a fantastic show. Uh, I think I mentioned anyway that we both really like Bill Bailey. Uh, surprisingly, Lawrence knew more about Bill, ba Bill Bailey than I actually gave him credit for. And he said, oh, he's a great musician. Anyway, he did, um, he played a lot of instruments, you know, some songs, uh, there was a, a, just enough uh, audience participation to make it fun. And it was just really good. And what I really, really liked, I think he must do that wherever he goes in Europe. Uh, he spoke a bit of Dutch and actually sang in Dutch, which was like fantastic. I mean, yeah, he got a standard ovation, so put it that way. Um, so anyway, the uh, we had an interview, the second half of the show, really, really good. Uh, more instrumental in the second part. He even did uh, like this laser show at one point. It was amazing. Uh, and then when it was over, we just... Um, we d we hadn't uh, put our coats in the cloakroom because it was cold. We we were cold when we arrived there. It was freezing last night, so we had our coats with us. So we just literally made our way out and um, walked down to the tram stop again. It it was a little bit. The thing is, if you ever if you if you ever visit the Netherlands, Amsterdam in particular, I'm going to tell you this is a tourist tip now. Nine times out of ten, the tram the tram stop that you get off at there isn't naturally necessarily a tram stop over the road for you to get back on at. I'm just warning you. So you need to really pay close attention to that. Uh, so we, where we got off the tram, we had to walk a fair bit over a main road and, and then get, that's where the tram stop was. Obviously living here, we know this, but if you're a tourist, <laughs> yeah, well, you can always ask people, but you know, the chances of you asking someone who doesn't actually live in Amsterdam and doesn't know is pretty high, I must say. Um, so, yeah, literally got on the tram. Uh, there was a colleague of mine there with his wife and two friends. He'd also been to the show, so I had a quick chat with them. And, um, yeah, got back to work, picked up the car. Uh, traffic was clear, obviously, at that time of night. Got home. I think we got home about 11.30ish, so um, stayed up for a while, just watched a bit of TV, decompressed then I went to bed so it was a really 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 nice evening you know that we had managed to squeeze in a quick dinner and uh, the show was just honestly if you ever get a chance I never said it if you ever get a chance go and see him his tickets they weren't that expensive and considering how great the show was we were like really impressed uh yeah and as I said the theatre is beautiful I don't know how old it is maybe I've had a look before I've done all the editing maybe I've managed to have a look and I can maybe you would have seen some dates or something pop up on screen somewhere so um anyway plans for today nothing um I'm just going to edit the vlog quickly most of it's already edited and then I think this afternoon I might do a bit of crafting 
Um, I've still got my little piggy and teddy bear pattern that I've not cut out yet. So I might pin that and cut that out. We'll see, we'll see. Um, but I just want to be cosy. The weather is diabolical again. I mean, it's just not stopped. I'm looking out the window now. It's just not stopped throwing, throwing it down. It's dreadful. And it's just cold. Uh, my skin's really dry. I've, I've given myself a bit of a facial this morning. I think because I got a bit of sun on it last week, it's quite dry. So, uh, and my hair's a bit, it's almost dry now. It's a bit damp. I don't know what to do with my hair. I'm kind of growing it, but I've gone off like blow drying it. And I like my fringe, but look how long it is now. So I don't know whether to just trim my fringe again and let it grow. And I like that I can just let it, you know, be wavy on its own without fussing over it. And then if I really, if I really want to scrunch it, you know, I can get a bit more cool to it. I don't know. Let me know what you think. The other thing, let me know if you would like a proper look at the boat. Like, I'll go on and I'll show you, you know, the layout, the cushions and everything. Let me know. I'm happy to do that because I think I've only filmed footage of us, you know, as the boat sort of coming in and Lawrence sailed off on it and then whatever we've seen when we're out sailing. But if you want me to, you know, show you the layout, the storage, the, you know, closer look at the cushions and so forth. I'm very happy to do that. I might actually do that anyway at the weekend. We'll see. Um, so plans for the weekend. Tomorrow, I think uh, we're going to get up early and we're going to go to Utrecht. The So our, our friends, um, Emilio and uh, Jessica, who own the bakery that we like to go to in Utrecht, as they've now, they've left the franchise and they've made the store totally south african now i think you can still get regular stuff but it's like way more south african stuff and produce in there now so um we we i think we're gonna go and take a drive uh i said to lawrence i finally would like to go to the lapis Markt, which is basically the fabric market that's only open it's only on until one o'clock in utrecht so i said i want to go there not not that i need any more fabric not that I need to do any more sewing, but, you know, I just want to look around and I'll film it for you guys. And then we can have lunch in Utrecht and then we'll see how the weather is. I don't think it's going to be any good. In any case, we need to be back by four. So then we'd have to leave Utrecht by three uh, because the grocery delivery is coming tomorrow afternoon between four and eight. I think it was. Uh, and then Sunday, Lawrence is refing and playing a game of hockey. If he's back like no later than mid afternoon and it's dry and a bit of sun we might go on the boat we'll see we'll see um and then i don't know what i don't know what i've got going on next week i think i've got i think i've got stuff going on and i can't remember anyway tune in next week and you'll find out what i'm up to um i hope you've enjoyed this week's vlog don't forget if you haven't done already please 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 i'm begging you now hit the subscribe button i've got no shame i will beg it helps the channel and if you want to say hello in the comments uh, or just give me a like you know just any interaction you um do with the channel uh, helps grow the community and um if you're an og a returning viewer a regular subscriber thanks again for coming back guys i really appreciate all the support from everybody I'm really enjoying the channel at the moment as you can see i'm, st I'm not going to go on about sleep apnea but i'm gradually getting a bit more energy now and i hope that's reflected oh one other thing i should mention i've still not um moved over to my new phone i've not even used it yet so i don't know <laughs> if you notice a difference in the quality i don't know why because i'm still filming on my regular old camera so i just need to get the headspace to do that i hate new technology anyway waffle waffle i think it's going to be another long one i uh, hope you've had a good week stay safe take care and i will see you in the next video bye for now